Okay, so looking at a headline on the internet, if President Biden still upholds and bans ghost guns. Okay. And I remember my wife found this article. And I said, what, what are they talking about? And it all comes down to years ago and what started all this, is they had something called a uh, buy, build, shoot kit. And what they would do is you would go to a company, they would have the Polymer 80 frame kit. And I'm going to talk about these, I'm not going to talk about AR-80s because I didn't look it up. But Polymer 80s were pretty famous. And it's the easiest 80% project to do, or it was at one time. So you got the uh, jig, the frame, a couple drills, and an end mill uh, in the, the old Polymer 80 kits. That's what they came. The frame kits came that, and it had the little metal pieces that you would set in there and drive the pins through. And the reason I said it's the simplest one is you take out that kit, drill it, Drill three holes, add the correct drill sizes. Once you did that, you had to cut off some tabs on the top of the frame and then sand them flat and then cut out a section of the inner frame to where the recoil uh, spring went. And then you just took all the other parts to, uh, I think it's a Glock Gen 3 or something, would fit on there. All the parts that made up with a Glock Gen 3 would fit into this and then you would take the rest of the barrel frame slide and assemble a gun. Okay, that was it. And they sold it to you in one package. The parts kit, the frame, and jig and all that other stuff. So, uh, you could, like it said, buy, build, and go out and shoot it. You didn't have to get it. You got it all in one package. So this was the thing that it started when somebody bought from the company selling them, the, poly, the main polymer company. Bought several of these kits and the ATF raided their home and confiscated the kit. So this one, uh, national news, and everyone went crazy, everyone's freaking out, and hundreds of videos are made. Are they going to uh, come if I bought one of these from somebody? Are they going to come and find me off the mailing list and, you know, confiscate or arrest me? And, started the whole controversy. So in the end, I guess what they ended up doing, or the only thing they tried to thwart this, is now, and I went this morning and I looked for polymer 80 frames and other things. What they kind of did is they broke it down to where you could buy the plastic frame, but you could not get it with the plastic jig for drilling holes or the tooling and such and such and if you the companies will still sell you these but it cannot be put in the same package or one company will sell you the frame okay and I look they have the frame and it says if you order this frame the two metal pieces and the pins that hold it for the slide to ride on and you know the frame metal parts of the frame are not set in the same package they're sh shipped separately so I guess if you buy a frame, they'll send you the frame, and they send you a little envelope days later with uh, uh, rails and pins needed to complete the frame portion of the gun. But you have to go to another company and buy the red plastic jig that this frame sits in so you can drill holes through, and I believe they include the two drills. No longer an end mill. They used to give you a long end mill uh, to go in there. And that has to be bought from another company, another separate thing. Okay? So you can still get them. And upon looking at the frame, and this is because I have not fooled with any of this for years. Uh, I had to take all my videos pertaining to this subject off of YouTube or they were going to shut my channel down. But it says the frames, they have a new type of frame. Like I said, where you just did the top tabs and cut the little U-shaped hole out. And, you know, after you drill, the, you drill the holes, cut the tabs off, cut the little U-shaped thing out, 
push down the two pieces, the internal metal pieces that the slide will ride on, and then lock them in with a pin into the frame. That's all you had to do. Well, I guess looking at it, they showed the new frames have the area in the back where the, you know, your trigger mechanism and all that goes in the back behind the mag well. That has something there and something up front. There's more plastic in the internal part of the frame. Okay. So you would have to clamp this and cut or mill out the pockets to where the trigger control group and all that other stuff goes. So there's more work to be done on it. I ain't going to touch this with a 10 foot pole, but obviously it's not as simple as taking pliers and a file and just cleaning the top of the frame off and cutting out the one thing. There's more that you have to kind of intricately go in there and mill. And I don't know if they send you with the frame a end mill. Okay. So they are still there but I think what the companies are trying to do is stop this nonsense to where you have to you know order one piece here from one company and you must order another part where are the tools from another company and all this other stuff but I guess the way it stands uh, that's the current situation okay you can still get these things you know, they just made it more difficult. They changed the format of the basic frame to where there's more intricate work have, that has to be done. It's not quite as simple as it used to be. You know, like AR 80%, you still had to fairly well. It was pretty difficult to mill that pocket out, and you have to hold that pocket to a pretty good tolerance, or the gun won't work quite right. Okay, so there are things there. All right, but again, it's kind of bullshit. And again, the headlines say that each passing year, the police confiscate more and more of these guns without serial numbers on them. And you know, uh, certain states you live in, you can't get any of this stuff. Okay, again, state local laws. Well, that's where it goes with the polymer 80s. Uh, you can still do it. Um, how expensive it is or how much of a pain or how much more difficult it is I don't know but they are still available so no matter what you see on the news you know uh, if people can do it they will go and make ghost guns no matter what but that's my update and understanding on how it sits today you know I don't know if they're fighting it or changing any lawsuits or whatever um, you know, again, because then you're going to be watching lengthy videos with all this mumbo jumbo, and then after anybody makes a decision, it gets appealed and back and forth. But it, it looks to me like you can still get it. You just can't get it all in one package. Okay, so. All right, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned.